From nomadic children of the sea who can see underwater like dolphins, to people who can hear their own eyeballs move, here are the 10 most incredible things that only 1% of people can do. Let's get started. No one is happier than the people of San Antonio de los Cobres, a small town nestled in the Argentine Andes. Indeed, the grandiose beauty of the virgin landscapes, added to the purity of the mountain air, make this place a magical place conducive to happiness. Unfortunately, the geological location of this small town is not really what one would call safe, since it is built on volcanic rock, naturally rich in arsenic. Analyses carried out near San Antonio, show that the level of arsenic present in the water is 20 times higher than the level declared safe by the World Health Organization. Known since ancient times, this chemical element is an extremely toxic metalloid for both humans and animals, and is considered one of the most virulent poisons in history. However, it must be said that this poison does not affect the people of San Antonio so much, since they tolerate arsenic very well. These hardy mountain people have developed almost total immunity to this toxic element, and even if they are exposed to very high levels of arsenic, they do not develop any symptoms of poisoning. Thanks to this incredible capacity for tolerance, the inhabitants of this charming little Argentine town can live their lives without worrying about having a poison control center nearby, since they are totally immune. The Mokan children are the descendants of a people of maritime nomads who live in Southeast Asia, not far from the Burmese and Thai coasts. Considered by the authorities as second-class citizens, even parasites, this people has been forbidden to own land. So to feed themselves, the Mokan and their children had to turn to the ocean, whose depths abounded in fish and shellfish, but they still had to know how to catch them. This marine people has therefore developed an infallible technique which allows them to make miraculous catches, and which has left researchers and marine biologists totally perplexed. The secret of the Mokan children is that they can literally see underwater, just like a dolphin or other cetacean, a faculty developed over centuries of living in the sea. However, it seems to apply only to children. As they get older, their pupils become less flexible, and as adults, they lose this ability to see underwater. This incredible peculiarity of their eyeballs, however, has allowed the Mokan not to starve and to prosper, despite their nomadic lifestyle. And even today, the children of the Mokan tribe are like fish in water. Imagine that your hearing is so acute that you can hear whispers from 50 meters away, or the sound of a fork falling at the other end of the canteen, which is still immersed in a hellish cacophony. But no matter how good your hearing is, you won't be able to compete with people who have upper canal dehiscence syndrome, or UCDS. This condition is caused by a small hole in the bone covering the inner ear, which most often results in distorted hearing and impaired balance. But the most amazing symptom of this condition is the fact that you can literally hear your eyes moving inside their sockets. You may well believe that this is just a bunch of rubbish, and that no one has such good hearing. But then you will have to face the wrath of those poor patients with this genetic disease, who wish they didn't have to. Because nothing is more unpleasant in truth, than these terrible strange sounds which they hear in the hollow of their ears, each time their eyeballs move in their holes. So if you still think having a great sense of hearing is a blessing, this video shows you that you're wrong, especially if you live near an international airport. Let's make a little parenthesis if you want. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, to subscribe to the channel and to activate the bell to receive all the notifications. Let's go on. Jill Price is an American from Southern California, who was never meant to be famous. This young middle-class woman was indeed the archetypal housewife, whose only concern in life was to look after her children and never miss an episode of her favorite sitcom. In short, Jill's life was a long, quiet river, until 1985, when it suddenly turned into a gushing torrent of memories. Jill discovered that she had a memory that defied belief, allowing her to remember almost every detail of her life, even the most obscure and insignificant of them. But this incredible ability does not stop there, because when Jill remembers a memory, she relives it with the same degree of emotion. The cognitive power of her mind is so powerful that she literally sees the scene unfold before her eyes, exactly as if she were watching a movie. But this extraordinary ability that Jill has is actually a gift that she could have done without. Because the elephantine memory that she possesses is in fact only a symptom of a very rare neuropsychiatric pathology, named, hyperthymic syndrome. Because of this now incurable disease, people like Jill have to live an existence totally divided between memories and reality. But fortunately, Jill Price is a woman with nothing but good memories in her head, so her hyperthymesia is not really what you would call a burden. This is Jaspreet Singh Kalra, a 22-year-old Indian boy who, at first glance, does not look like he's going to make the news. But behind his modest appearance and humble smile lies a man with incredible physical ability, 
which puts him on par with a Marvel or DC superhero. Jaspreet has a suppleness and flexibility that defies imagination, and which earned him the nickname of the Rubber Man of India. His incredible gift allows him to accomplish physical feats that are unique in the world, such as being able to turn his head 180 degrees. Jaspreet can also dislocate both shoulders, rotate his torso 180 degrees backwards and rotate both hands more than 360 degrees. His physical feats have allowed him to set four world records and four national records. This Indian Mr. Fantastic nevertheless knew how to put his flexibility to good use, since he is a contortionist by trade, and it is clear that his show is not ready to end. Slavia Pajkic is a 64-year-old Serbian citizen whose destiny is intimately linked to electrical energy. No, he's not an electrician, but Slavia is best known for being totally immune to electric shocks, even withstanding a current of over 20,000 volts. This incredible superhuman discovered his power as a teenager, during an electrical incident where he received a shock that left him completely unaffected, unlike his peers. He understood that he was literally immune to electric shocks, but not only that, because Slavia was going to develop other powers related to electricity as time went on. He is thus able to transform his body into a battery, accumulating electrical energy in order to light bulbs or cook sausages with his bare hands. But Slavia doesn't just use these powers to show off, because this brave man helps people by curing their migraines or chronic back pain via electrical impulses that he generates with his thumb and forefinger. This makes our Slavia Pajkic a superhero right down to his fingertips. Daniel Kish is an American who has been blind since he was a child, so he grew up learning to tame his other senses to compensate for his early blindness. Kish developed his perception by sharpening his sense of hearing and smell, but not only. Because this ingenious blind man has quickly become an expert in human echolocation, thanks to which he can literally visualize his environment in 3D. Used by some animals such as bats or whales, Echolocation consists in sending sounds and listening to their echo to locate and identify surrounding elements. Humans were inspired to create the first naval sonars, without which the ocean floor could never have been mapped and submarines could never have sailed. But no one before Kish had been able to produce echolocation with his body alone, making this blind man a real-life daredevil. Indeed, just like the horned superhero, Kish orientates himself thanks to a series of vocal clicks and the return of their echoes which helps him to visualize the elements constituting his immediate environment. So Kish can literally see without eyes, with of course much less detail, but in a way that is sharp enough not to bump into an obstacle or barrier. Thanks to this extraordinary gift, Kish has been nicknamed the Batman, even though he has nothing to do with Batman and does not like the dark. But this perceptive blind man has nevertheless contributed to bring some light in the dark world of the blind, since he founded an association in 2000 to teach his technique to the blind. Many of the great singers were blind, and most of them were true virtuosos at the piano and had sweet voices, like Ray Charles or Stevie Wonders. The physical handicap is not an obstacle to musical talent, and the artistic epic of Lou Boland, a 20-year-old French blind man, is here to prove it. But Lou also has an incredible gift for imitation, and with an absolute ear for music, the young boy can reproduce exactly any sound he might have ever heard. Able to imitate all the singers of the French repertoire, the young Lou prefers nevertheless to imitate the cries of animals, for which he feels an unconditional love. Lamb bleeding, horse neighing, or even bullock bellowing, Lou can reproduce any of these calls with such mastery, that he seems to literally communicate with these gentle little creatures. And seeing the reaction of the animals when they hear these very familiar cries, it is very likely that a semblance of communication can be established between the young blind man and them. And although no one will ever be able to decipher what they say to each other, the conversation sounds extremely pleasant for both parties. Michel Lotito was one of those French Epicureans, who strongly appreciate good food and gargantuan and refined meals. But the man who was aptly nicknamed the Eat All Man, had an appetite that was a little different from his bon vivant colleagues. For as incredible and insane as it may seem, Michel Lotito loved to ingest glass or rubber, although his meal of choice was undoubtedly metal. Mr. Eat All greatly appreciated the taste of steel, as he had eaten more than 9 tons of this metal in his lifetime. Michel Lotito had indeed swallowed no less than 15 supermarket carts, 18 bicycles, 3 toilets, more than 18 CRT TV screens, as well as two beds. Those close to this French gargantua even speak of a plane, a Cessna Model 150, which would have been one of Lotito's finest dishes. But this metallic diet had never caused any dietary problems to Michel, since he lived all his life in an iron health. 
We finish this video as always, with an unusual sequence. And here, it is the incredible challenge of the cup in balance. If you don't know what it is, we'll explain. The goal of this challenge is to perform a series of complex movements with a glass of water balanced on your forehead. If you think this challenge is not that difficult, you are very much mistaken, because as you can see from the pictures, the task is incredibly difficult. Not only do you have to be careful not to spill any drops, but you also have to defy the laws of gravity and weight, by making movements where the glass will be inexorably upside down. Moreover, you will need to be extremely flexible and muscular if you really want to complete this challenge. Let's just say that if you think that the cup is full, and that you are really fed up with these stupid challenges on the internet, well, you are not alone. And that's it for today. Which of these 10 things that only 1% of people can do impressed you the most? Tell us in the comments, and see you soon for new discoveries out of the ordinary.